What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day as always. If you guys haven't already subscribed, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, huge update on the website. The products for testing for the first products on the website should be here tomorrow or the next day instead of this weekend or Monday. So that should be up sooner than we thought. So that's really good news. But with all of that out of the way, let's hop into today's video. So we're going to be going over why I keep buying the 4.0 WJs and not the V8. I actually have never had a V8, so I'm not going to say anything bad about them because I can't give an honest opinion if I haven't owned one. However, I do have an honest opinion on the 4.0 and why I like it so much. So we're going to go over all of that stuff. I'm show you guys why I have two 4.0 WJs and why I keep buying them, why I like them so much and all of that. So with that being said, let's hop out of the Jeep. We'll go over all that on the Jeeps and show you guys what's up. All right, so as you guys know, these are my two WJs, both a 4.0. This one was actually my first car ever. And what do we do with first cars? We don't maintain them. Um, I honestly had no idea what I was doing when I bought this car, and I did not maintain the Jeep at all. Um, there was many times that I should change the oil, change fluids, and I did not. Um, it just was not treated well at all. But that's actually what made me like this Jeep so much. So let's go ahead, pop the hood, show you guys the engine, and show you guys some more detail on why I like the 4.0. So here it is in all its glory, the 210,000 mile Jeep WJ 4.0. Um, this one has not been maintained even slightly up to what you're supposed to maintain it at. And it still made me buy this 4.0. So the reason behind that is because in my mind, if this engine can last 200,000 plus and still be going with minimal to no maintenance, imagine what it can do if you actually maintain it and treat it the right way and change fluids when you're supposed to, change oil, do tune-ups, change spark plugs, all that kind of stuff. This WJ has literally never had any of that done to it and still running strong. So that made me go ahead and pick up the blue WJ that you guys have been seeing videos on, also 4.0. And I can't really say anything bad about the V8 since I have never owned one. I'm not just going to put other people's opinions out there and act like I know everything about the V8. I don't. However, I do know the 4.0 has lasted me so long with so little maintenance. There's actually been time periods to where we would drive this Jeep to college. And there was this really, really long red light right before you got to the college. And the Jeep would overheat every time you had it on and you would stop. So we would be sitting there overheating. The needle would be pegged as far over to the side as it could go. And the Jeep would be fine afterwards. I really had no issues with it. I did end up changing out the thermostat. There's like 212 on the dash and it's still running good. All I've done is a water pump and change out the thermostat. And the Jeep's still running really, really strong. It's running fine. So I really like that in my head. That just kind of shows how strong these engines are and how long lasting these engines are. And that's actually kind of what made me buy the blue one. So now let's go over my plan with the blue one now that we have that. And the black one, that's like super high mileage. So I did buy the blue one probably about six months. No, it was probably like three months ago, something like that. Uh, let's go ahead and open the hood. And this one, this one's way, way cleaner than the other one. This one's also really never been actually off-road. But pop the hood on it and it's just another Jeep WJ 4.0. But this one's a lot cleaner. This one was taken care of. This one's in way better condition than the other one, even when I bought the other one. So my goal here is to continuously maintain the blue one, like everything recommended done to it will do to it, and we'll just take care of this one really, really well. And since we'll be taking care of this one really well, I am expecting to get to 200,000 miles on it. However, we might do an engine swap before then. I don't really know how things will go. It depends on how fast we make progress on it. This one, my plan is to get it running again, back it in the garage. And uh, begin maintaining this one since I now know what I'm doing when it comes to cars and all that kind of stuff. Now, don't get me wrong. It would be cool to have a V8 and it would be cool to have a little bit extra power and all that stuff. But if I do want to go to a V8, we'll do a different engine swap and all that kind of stuff. However, it would be kind of cool to have that from the factory. I've heard a bunch of negative and positives about the V8. So I can't really give you guys an opinion since I don't have one. And I'm not just going to reiterate other people's um, comments and stuff like that on the engine. It's also one of those things that people go on Facebook and complain about when something goes wrong, but they're like 250,000 mile V8s or 200,000 mile V8s. It's not like it's got 30,000 miles on it. And I've seen cases of both engines breaking at fairly low mileages. So it's not like it's one or the other, but that's just my opinion. That's why I like the 4.0 so much. That's why I keep buying them. That's why I have two of them now. And that's why we're building a second one. 
Um, my goal is to kind of maintain both of them now that I know what I'm doing. Like I said earlier, I didn't really know much about cars when I got the black one. Just started building a Grand Cherokee in high school, and here we are with more Jeeps now. But now I know what I'm doing, so it's okay. So I'm going to maintain that one. The blue one's getting the proper maintenance, everything that should be done to it. We're going to take care of that. If the engine does blow out, we might throw an LS in there, something later down the line. That'll be after we get the whole build done. It's on one tons cage, all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to do it right away. Um, I'm just going to leave the 4.0 in there for now. But that basically wraps up today's video. Um, update on the website is I've been putting in a ton of work on it. I think you guys would be super, super pleased with the outcome, working on products for it. Um, I have some really cool stuff in the works to go on there. So if you guys have any suggestions of what you guys want to see on the website, comment them down below. And I'll do my best to build them, make the products so that way you guys can see it. It's going to be apparel and stuff, but it's also going to be parts. I want to sell really cool Grand Cherokee parts. It's also only going to be parts that I personally will run on my Jeep. And since we're building a full-on rock crawler, one tons cage, all that stuff, you guys know it's going to be quality parts. We're not selling cheap stuff. Um, I've never wanted to sell cheap stuff. And all money I make from the website is just going to go back into the Jeeps to make more content. So that'll be the best way you guys can support me in making more Jeep content for you guys. Because it does get very expensive building those two. And the Wrangler, even though I haven't touched the Wrangler in a while. But that basically wraps up the video. So as always, guys, thank you for the watching. Thank you for all the support on the past videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.